Hey YouTube, TC here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a Sega Genesis emulator for your Nintendo DS, or for your R4 card. So go to the first link in the description, it'll take you to download.qj.net, and just go ahead and click download on this little button right here. And this will happen, and your download should start, and it should download very, very quickly because it's a very small file. Now, let's just go ahead and open it up and drag the J-E-N-E-S-I or something like that. Anyways, just drag it to your desktop. And let's go ahead and plug in my micro SD card. There it is. Make a new folder in the root of your memory card, which is right here. And name it uh, Sega ROMs or Genesis ROMs, whatever you want to name it. You could just name it ROMs and put all your ROMs in there. And when I say that, I mean Game Boy and all that too. But anyways, you don't have to. I suggest you don't. Drag and drop the emulator into your game folder. Now let's go ahead and go back, and then let's go back to the Sega ROMs folder. Open it up, and then now here's where you guys are going to go to the description, and at the very bottom there's some links, and in those links will take you to sites where you can get Sega, uh, where, yeah, where you can get Sega Genesis ROMs. So I'm just going to put some Jurassic Park Rampage Edition on here. And some Sonic Pinball and this regular Jurassic Park, which is much better than the Nintendo version. The Super Nintendo version of it. And yeah, that's it. Um, and your ROMs should be in a .bin format. That works best with this emulator. Well, that's the only thing I've actually found that works almost all the time is .bin. So now here at the Nintendo DS, go ahead and type tap games, and you should see your Sega ROMs folder right there that you made in the Ruby Memory Stick. We go ahead and go to games and go to the JNES emulator. It looks like this when you get there if you can't f remember the name and just tap that or hit A okay huh. there we go that was odd and create a save file and then it'll show you the root of your memory stick and it'll show everything in the root of your memory stick including the Sega Genesis or the Sega ROMs folder you made. Select the ROM folder that you made that you put all your emulators, I mean your uh, ROMs in, and I'm just going to go ahead and select Jurassic Park uh, Rampage Edition and show you guys. And as you can see, it plays it. I'm just going to play a little bit. Now, the only thing is this one right here is sometimes the color gets really, really messed up. Like right here, that little dinosaur right there, where the head of the T-Rex that came in, that's supposed to be uh, grayish slash... I don't know. Well, you know what the head looks like, but... Yeah. Let's go ahead and show you guys some gameplay. But other than, other than some of the color that gets messed up... And if you want to go ahead and exit and select another ROM, just press select. It'll take you back to the, the ROM folder where you put all your ROMs in. And I'm just going to go ahead and load that one, which is the regular Jurassic Park, which kind of sucks. But yeah. And, um... Let's go ahead and load up some Sonic Pinball because I can. I don't really want to play that. Now, just go ahead and tell you guys, this emulator is not playing full screen on the Nintendo DS. There's actually some space being not used, and it's being hidden on the side of the Nintendo DS screen. Um, if you hit, if you hit L and R, it'll move the screen from side to side, and well, I don't know how much is not there, but all I know is it's quite a bit. It's enough where it sometimes you can't really play the game. Let's see, it's like that much. 
and it moves from side to side like that. Uh, hold on, I'll just show you guys what I mean. See? It's now the other side. Now sometimes when you're playing a game, you need there's a menu in the one side of the corner or like one end of each corner and you need it. But other than that, it's a pretty good emulator. So thank you guys for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.